chapter 2, Mishnah 2. The Mishnah now lists another difference between communal and personal korbanos. This one concerns the laws of achatas. Achatas is brought to atone for certain kinds of sins. If a person consecrated a chatas to atone for his sin, and he then received atonement through another chatas, the first chatas cannot be offered as a korban, but must be left to die. Personal chataos, whose owners already received their atonement through a different chatas, must be left to die. But communal chatas, chataos, whose owners the community atoned with a different chatas, are not left to die. Rather, we allow them to wander about and graze until they develop a blemish, at which point they can be redeemed. Rabbi Huda says, Kamino Chataos must also be left to die. Rabbi Shimon offers support for the first Tana's view that a Kamino Chataos is not left to die. Rabbi Shimon said, We know that the law of the Chataos that must be left to die was said in regard to five Chataos. Now, what do we find with regard to some of the others in this group, namely the offspring of Chataos, the Tamur of Chataos, and the Chataos whose owner died before it was offered? We find that the law we find that the law that they must be left to die was stated only with regard to a personal chatas, and not with regard to a communal chatas. This is because these three cases cannot happen to a communal chatas. So too with regard to the other two chataos that are left to die, namely the chatas whose owners already atoned, and the chatas whose year has passed. We should say that the law it, we should say that the law that they must be left to die was stated only with regard to a personal chatas and not with regard to a communal chatas.